I haven't really observed New Year in several years now, but today I said Happy New Year to someone and it didn't feel right to me. And so it's caused me to kind of reflect on why that wouldn't feel right. And I'm pretty sure I already knew this, but maybe didn't understand or it hadn't been integrated. But this New Year that everyone's observing in the world is based on the Gregorian calendar. So Christians should not be observing this. I mean, we have to, we're already being forced to go by the Gregorian calendar in terms of work and things like that. But it's not something that we should be taking seriously or we should be celebrating. I've told you in other videos that God established a calendar and a day begins in the evening, not in the morning. His Sabbath is on Saturday, not on Sunday. And Pope Gregory the 13th changed God's calendar to the Gregorian calendar. And so that's the new year that people are celebrating this evening. They're celebrating that calendar. And for me, it should be a grievous thing because I have to go through to great lengths to figure out how to live by God's calendar. And the reason I say I have to go to great lengths for that is because there's so much nonsense online. I have to literally go online in order to see that. And there's so much nonsense. So one of the things that I corrected on a video a while back was regarding these two calendars. In Reform Judaism, they now, they added in a calendar. And so the new year that's being observed in Israel, similar to the new year that's being observed in counterfeit Christianity, has been changed. They're not even observing the new year on God's actual calendar because Reformed Judaism implemented a calendar that they say begins on Tishrei 1. Well, guess what? The calendar was instituted after the exodus from Egypt. It starts on Passover. It starts on Nisan 1, or also referred to as Aviv, A-V-I-V, 1. Now look, the new year is not a day that is commanded in the Bible to observe. So technically on the first of Nisan or Aviv, we're going to be observing Passover. We're not going to be adding in some holiday of the world. And you know what that holiday is all about. It's all about drinking and revelry. And there's nothing good that we're doing on New Year. That's why I haven't observed it for a few years. It is a largely lawless holiday. But the bottom line is, if we were going to observe New Year, we could not do it on Passover. It would be something that would be replacing or interfering with Passover. We need to stay single-minded to God's Passover. So I'm really, one of the things that I just keep, I I know that God's going to reveal some things to me, but one of the things that I, I feel pretty grieved about right now that I feel him continually pressing on me is regarding the Antichrist, is regarding counterfeit Christianity and what that's looking like in the world right now. I mean, truly, you cannot, everything is being so controlled. I know that between politics, the right likes to say that the, the left is censoring everything, but let me tell you, they all do it. You cannot have an opinion, especially based on the true gospel or the true Bible, even if you're contributing it respectfully, people are controlling every single narrative, not just political narrative, but they are controlling the gospel narrative in counterfeit Christianity. They will not allow God's people to contribute truth to a conversation, period, both sides. And frankly, I find it even more grievous when people who are calling themselves Christians are doing this. In any event, God keeps talking to me about the Antichrist. And so one of the things that we know of the Antichrist is that he is going to change God's appointed times, change his holy days. And you know, while he's at it, why not just confuse the calendars so that you don't even know when they are? Why not confuse his Sabbath? Why not confuse when his days start? There are so many incredible lies. And the thing that is grieving me is that I haven't even scratched the surface. And I know it because he keeps showing me things. He keeps showing me how bad this is. So God has one calendar. That calendar began with the Exodus on Passover. We know it was Passover because they took that leavened bread with them. And because when the destroying angel came that night and took the firstborn of every household, 
Pharaoh came back and was like, all right, get up. You guys go. You get out of here. Go worship your God. And they left in haste. That began a new thing. And God said, this will be an, this will be a new year for you. The beginning of your calendar. Nowhere in the Bible is this idea that there are two calendars or the new year is on Tishrei. That comes from rabbinical commentary from Reformed Judaism. You need to know that because everything has been based on that false doctrine in Reformed Judaism. That false gospel, just like is going on in Christianity, the false gospel that was implemented by the Antichrist, that the Shemitah starts on that counterfeit new year. In fact, they have all kinds of stories about the different seasons during the year and all of this other mumbo jumbo, and none of it is in the word. You need to know that. That's important for you to know so that you stay so true to the word and you are not deceived. So I just wanted you to know that. I wanted to share with you. I don't believe that Christians should be celebrating New Year. It is the very celebration of the calendar that has completely confused us and taken over God's calendar and his appointed times. That should grieve us. That should grieve us that this is one thing that has attempted to replace what God established, what's important to him. Because those holy days, those appointed times are extremely important to him. We will be celebrating his appointed times and his holy days, God willing that we all make it there in eternity. They tell us of the things he's done and they tell us of the things he will do. So we should want to know. We should want to have a calendar and to be observing a calendar that's in accordance with what he has established, with what he wants us to celebrate and be oriented to. It's created a lot of confusion to introduce a worldly secular calendar. And obviously it was important enough to Satan that he implement that in order to confuse and deceive. And look what's happened. You have a lot of counterfeit Christians. They're counterfeit Christians right now. They may have a heart for, they may have a heart for God and they'll be changed at some point. Maybe they'll come out of Babylon. Maybe they'll be given eyes to see. And they've been totally deceived. In fact, so many people, I mean, I know people who are in ministry who don't even know God's appointed times, but they're celebrating Easter and Christmas. What is that? What is that all about? And you can't even tell them because they won't listen. They like ghost you if you talk about it. They think that you're a fanatic. It's the most bizarre thing. You would think that someone in ministry would want to have a dialogue and want to know the truth that's in God's word. But you know what? Those are the hardest people to talk to. They will not be confronted, at least in my experience. I'd love to meet someone who's willing to have a dialogue. I would love for that to happen. But in my experience, I have not met a single person in ministry who's willing to have these conversations and willing to consider what's written in God's word if it conflicts with what they want to hear and the pagan rituals and practices and holidays that they are so attached to. What an absolute shame. And it horrifies me that these are the teachers. These are the teachers. These are the teachers of the word, the Pharisees and the Sadducees. It's horrifying. Anyway, thank you for listening. God bless you. And we'll continue to look forward to the beginning of God's new year when we observe Passover and we remember what God did for his people and how he made a name for himself and called them to himself. That's what I'm looking forward to. God bless, and I'll see you in the next video.